Hi everybody, I'm outside the Placer County Sheriff's Office. I have an update on Eros. He's a canine who was injured last month in that shooting incident in Placer County. I know a lot of you have shared your good thoughts, your prayers, um, not just on my page when I've shared uh, how he was doing, but in the Placer County Sheriff's Office. So we are here with his handler, Kevin Thompson, and of course, uh, Eros, a very brave, dog who is recovering and um we just wanted to tell you how he's doing well i'll let you do that okay he is uh, recovering very well uh, it's been about three weeks now yeah you know, the, the loomis basin the vet that we've been taking to him they've been very helpful mm -hmm. and they their prognosis for him is very good mm -hmm. especially considering his age he's nine years old um just really quick i'm going to stop I'm gonna flip mm -hmm. the camera and then i'll just um yeah, because I know people want to see arrows. Okay. Uh, very quickly, uh, or you said you've had him for seven years, and he, but he's been... He's nine years old oh, now. He's he's, years old. We've worked together for seven years. Okay. And a lot of people uh, want to help. They've been asking how they can support him. Um, someone wanted to donate a vest. What's the best way people can show that support? Uh, I would say the best way for them to do that is through uh, foothillscanine.org. That's a nonprofit organization that we use um, that people can donate to. They can receive tax write-offs for that. But the money goes directly to the dogs to help them. It also helps the retired dogs um, who have already had their years of service. Okay, and tell me a little bit about his prognosis, what the vet has told you. You know what? They've told me that he is most likely gonna make a full recovery um, now, whether he goes back to work or not, because he is nine years old, I don't know. Um, there's advantages and disadvantages to both. That's still up in the air? Yeah, because he's nine years old and he's been through so much, I think he's probably deserved a retirement. Mm -hmm. But um, in his mind, he wants to go to work with me. He doesn't want to stay here. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, he's so sweet. Uh, I was also going to ask, um, you were sharing with me earlier just... How much he means to you so can you talk about that uh bond that you guys have yeah well i mean you gotta figure i spend all my time with this dog mm -hmm. he's at home with me so after work he is at home uh he sleeps right next to my bed when i go to work he goes to work with me um, and there's a there is there's a special bond when you go to battle with the dog and the amount of training that we get and these dogs i mean they're specially picked for their uh their ability to to bond and work with a handler and they, they're not scared. They're not scared of anything. They're very brave dogs. What do you want to let everyone know who is just rooting for him, praying, sending good thoughts on a quick recovery for him? I just want to say thank you. Um, it kind of, you know, Placer County is, uh, is kind of a special place to live and because of the way the people are here. And that's one of the reasons why we work so hard is so we're able to to keep it that way and the people have been great it's made it's made a huge difference in the officers who are involved and uh, in my family specifically awesome. thank you and uh, I'm just gonna this is where he was injured yeah right here and then the bullet went through and it actually exited right back here above his tail okay. good boy oh <laughs> he wants a oh, little yeah. belly rub. <laughs> yep, he's the best of both worlds. He's very brave and he's also very friendly. You guys are lucky to have each other. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.